finally tonight, it's called 157 because that's its address here in the heart of New York City. But it is more than just another Manhattan high rise. When it opened three years ago, 157 was considered a symbol of extravagance, drawing the world's billionaires to its apartments with breathtaking views, among many other amenities. But three years later, those record-setting sales have gone from boom to a sort of a bust. Robert Frank has more. Last week, Unit 79 of the skyscraper named 157 became the biggest foreclosure sale ever in New York City, auctioned off for $36 million. The owner was Kola Aluko, a Nigerian billionaire charged with money laundering and fraud. Now, real estate brokers said it was an outlier and that the market is strong. But an analysis of sales at 157 shows that every apartment that has sold since the building opened in 2014 has declined in value, all by double digits. Jonathan Miller of Miller Samuel Appraisers ran the numbers. A unit on the 62nd floor was purchased for over $31 million. Two years later, it sold for $23.5 million, a 26% decline. A unit on the 65th floor was bought for $29 million and sold for just $22 million this past April. Prices for new condo developments across Manhattan have fallen 27 percent this year. The average sale price is still more than 4.3 million, or 2,500 a square foot. There are currently 16 apartments listed for sale at 157 today, the most expensive for 70 million. One apartment that is not on the market is the famed penthouse on the 75th and 76th floor that hedge fund billionaire Bill Ackman purchased for over $91 million. He has said he expects to be able to sell it for more than twice that. Of course, that's not likely anytime soon. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Robert Frank.